Hello and welcome to Sky Sea Channel, the channel that always discusses anything about the sea. Did you know that the deadliest ship disaster in history killed more than twice as many people as the Titanic? In this video, we'll reveal the three most shocking ship disasters that you won't believe happened. Stay tuned until the end to find out which one it is. Number 3. La Hula but the La Hula was a Senegalese ferry that capsized and sank on September 26, 2002, off the coast of Gambia. The ferry was en route from Zigwinchor to Dakar with more than 2,000 passengers on board, despite having a capacity of only 580. The ferry encountered a storm with strong winds and waves that caused it to tilt and eventually flip over. Many people were trapped inside the vessel as it sank rapidly. Only 64 people survived while 1,863 perished in the disaster. It was the worst maritime accident in Africa and one of the deadliest in the world. The La Hula was built in 1990 as a ferry for the Senegalese government. It was named after a traditional dance of the Casamance region in southern Senegal. It was used to transport people and goods between Zigwinchor and Dakar, the capital city. The ferry was popular among travelers because it was cheaper and faster than traveling by road. The La Hula left Zigwinchor on September 25, 2002, at around 5 p.m., with an estimated 2,000 passengers on board. The official manifest listed only 796 passengers and 44 crew members, but many more people boarded the ferry without tickets or registration. The ferry was overloaded with people, luggage, vehicles, and livestock. It also had only two lifeboats and not enough life jackets for everyone. The La Hula sailed through the night and reached the Atlantic Ocean around midnight. It then faced a storm with winds of up to 70 miles per hour and waves of up to 16 feet high. The ferry was not designed to withstand such conditions and started to list to one side. The passengers panicked and rushed to the other side, making the situation worse. The ferry capsized and sank within minutes. The rescue efforts were delayed and inadequate. The Senegalese authorities did not receive a distress signal from the ferry and did not realize what had happened until several hours later. The first rescue boat arrived on the scene at around 10 a.m., more than nine hours after the sinking. By then, most of the survivors had died of hypothermia or exhaustion. The sinking of the La Hula caused a national mourning and outrage in Senegal. It also led to the resignation of several government officials and an investigation into the causes and responsibilities of the disaster. But did you know that La Hula means, the flower, in Wolof, a local language in Senegal? It was like a floating garden. Number 2. RMS Lusitania The RMS Lusitania was a British passenger liner that was torpedoed by a German U-boat on May 7, 1915, during World War I. The ship was sailing from New York to Liverpool with 1,959 people on board, including many Americans. The attack sparked outrage and controversy, as the Germans claimed that the ship was carrying war materials and violated the rules of war while the British denied this and accused the Germans of barbarism and violating international law. The sinking killed 1,198 people and contributed to the United States' entry into the war. The RMS Lusitania was launched in 1906 as one of the largest and fastest ocean liners in the world. It was owned by the Cunard Line and operated as a luxury passenger ship that crossed the Atlantic Ocean regularly. It also had a secret role as an auxiliary cruiser for the British Royal Navy in case of war. The RMS Lusitania left New York on May 1, 1915, for its 202nd transatlantic crossing. It carried 1,265 passengers and 694 crew members, as well as tons of cargo that included food, clothing, machinery, and ammunition. The ship was aware of the risk of German submarine attacks, as Germany had declared unrestricted submarine warfare against Britain and its allies. The ship received several warnings from the British Admiralty and even from the German Embassy in New York. The RMS Lusitania sailed along the southern coast of Ireland on May 7, 1915, at around 2 p.m. It was spotted by a German U-boat, U-20, commanded by Captain Walther Schwieger. Schwieger decided to fire a single torpedo at the ship without warning 
as he believed it was a legitimate target. The torpedo hit the starboard side of the ship near its boiler room. A second explosion followed shortly after, possibly caused by ignited coal dust or ammunition. The RMS Lusitania started to sink rapidly, listing to its starboard side. The passengers and crew tried to escape, but many faced difficulties. The lifeboats were not enough for everyone and some of them could not be launched due to the angle of the ship. Some people jumped into the water, but the water was cold and the currents were strong. Some people were sucked into the vortex created by the sinking ship. Others were hit by debris or drowned. The RMS Lusitania sank in 18 minutes, 11 miles off the old head of Kinsale. Out of the 1,959 people on board, only 761 survived. Among the dead were 128 Americans, including prominent figures such as Alfred Vanderbilt, a millionaire businessman, and Albert Hubbard, a writer and philosopher. The incident was one of the factors that led to the United States declaration of war on Germany in 1917. And finally, we have number 1, MV Doña Paz. Number 1. MV Doña Paz. The MV Doña Paz was a Philippine passenger ferry that collided with an oil tanker Mount Vector on December 20, 1987, near Marinduque Island. The collision ignited the oil tanker's cargo and caused a massive fire that engulfed both vessels. The ferry was severely overcrowded with thousands of people who were traveling for Christmas holidays. Many of them were not listed on the official manifest and had no life jackets or lifeboats. Out of the estimated 4,386 people on board both ships, only 26 survived. It was the deadliest peacetime maritime disaster in history and one of the worst human-made disasters ever. The MV Doña Paz was built in 1963 as a cargo ship for a Japanese company. It was sold to a Philippine company in 1975 and converted into a passenger ship. It was named after the grandmother of the company's owner. It was used to transport people and goods between Manila and Tacloban City. The MV Doña Paz left Tacloban City on December 20, 1987, at around 6.30 am, with an estimated 4,000 passengers on board. The official manifest listed only 1,518 passengers and 58 crew members, but many more people boarded the ferry without tickets or registration. It then collided with the Mount Vector, an oil tanker that was carrying 8,800 barrels of gasoline and kerosene. The impact caused a huge explosion that set both ships on fire. The flames spread quickly and consumed both vessels. The MV Doña Paz sank within two hours, taking most of its passengers with it. The sinking of the MV Doña Paz shocked the nation and the world. It also led to investigations into the causes and responsibilities of the disaster. It also raised awareness about the safety and regulation of the maritime industry in the Philippines. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and interesting about these tragic events. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get other interesting video updates. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.